This is All India Radio. In the program Samvad, now we bring you a discussion on India-US bilateral trade and economic ties. The participants are Professor Rakesh Mohan Joshi, economic analyst, and Ruchika Chitravanshi, journalist. India and the US are moving close to a limited trade deal and there has been a lot of high level meetings that have happened on both sides as India is looking to have greater trade ties with uh, not just US but also European Union and Britain in the backdrop of rising tensions with China and the whole covid situation this assumes a lot of significance professor joshi how do you see this whole trade deal panning out and how does it assume significance given the present timing I think it's extremely important that uh, US uh, is uh, the largest economy in the world another thing is US is also the largest importer in the world with about with a share of almost uh, 14% or so and what happens is the US is also India's largest partner as you have seen the report two three days back the US has been India's largest trade partner and the positive part is the India is having a positive trade balance against United States of America whereas we have a negative trade balance against various countries including China China the trade balance is we have a burgeoning trade balance of uh, almost 50 52 billion US dollar of the trade deficit with China so i yeah. think what i feel is it is complementary and it is going to be a win win situation except for the fact that there are certain issues wherein we have to be extremely cautious when you talk of america america is extremely worried about their rising trade deficit america's total trade deficit which in 2009 was 540 us dollar increased to 923 us dollar in 2019 so i think wow. the america's trade deficit is increasing america is looking at india as a big market with 1.4 billion people India is also the fastest growing the large market which is also the world's largest functional democracy and therefore i am very sure that america is looking india as a market us is also india's largest export market because of 16% share in america if you see that india exported over 50 to 53 billion dollar during the last financial year so i think all these things is if you talk of you know the major things which india export to america are the polished diamonds jewelry medicament and the petroleum products you know mm-hmm. india basically if you look into the the medicaments or the pharmaceutical product the demand for which is going to increase is going to come in america america is looking at india as a big market because india is largest importer of some of the key agriculture product in which america is a big supplier say you talk yeah. of almond in india almond is a household thing which we eat and india is the largest importer of almond in the world with 61% share and america is the largest supplier worth 670 billion dollars of uh, almond in india with 84% share so i think india is good fresh apples we import from america so many things say you talk of the acrylic hydrocarbon we have got 88% share diesel locomotive we import only from america with 100% share so i think the america is looking india as a market this trade package it has been in negotiation since 2018 i think what is the context uh, of the covid situation because economically we are all uh, struggling and there is a lot of stress on the economy world over so what does the trade deal mean in terms of the pandemic situation pandemic as you have seen the trade across the world is going to decrease and the wto has already forecasted the trade decline could be anywhere between 22% significance in india is as you have seen because of the india china strategic issues on the border and the, you know the bicycle china campaign which has come in india and there has been a feeling against india no similar feeling china is facing not only india but across the world china is having this feeling because of the chinese products are being dumped across the world china is having a positive trade balance from 430 billion us dollar positive across the world america is having a negative trade balance so what happens is countries are worried about their trade balance countries want to shift their imports away from china and i think india is a good answer another thing when you talk of the services trade india with its large manpower and capacity to service a lot of indians being in america so i think it is going to be a win win situation and therefore i am very sure and in america as you are aware there is a political compulsion as well because america also need to have market of its agriculture products india is going to give the market for their agriculture product dairy is also a critical issue where the americans want dairy poultry yeah. so it's not meat as such so, so they want a market for those products and india is very 
sensitive about opening up of its market in terms of the agriculture products, uh, dairy products, and India is extremely sensitive for intellectual property rights. So I think these are the intellectual property rights are various issues. And as you have seen, the Trump has not minced his words in calling India as a tariff uh, king at various places wherein the Trump has said that, you know, the Indian tariffs are very high. And I think we have reiterated time and time that Indian tariffs are absolutely not high. The GSP scheme in which the India was beneficiary, that was also called off. And the exemption which we were getting on the import tariff on the steel and aluminum products also went up. And I think this gave India as well as a negotiating ground on which we can negotiate. And America is negotiating for reducing the duties on the engineering products, automobile goods and the manufacturing products. America also wants concessions on high-value IT goods and the industrial components. And it wants, more importantly, the greater market access for the medical devices, farm and the dairy products on which India is extremely sensitive. As you've rightly pointed out, there are a lot of concerns India has with respect to agri products and even pharma products. So uh, yes, one uh, big curiosity that comes to my mind is that what is in it for India in terms of this trade deal? As you see, even India has been the largest uh, voter of the generic medicines in the world. India accounts for 38% or so share in the generic medicine. As you are aware that we know you will be allowed export of that hydroxychloroquine to America, which has a great demand and we allowed it because, you know, India is the market leader in terms of the pharmaceutical product. And the another thing is reduced import duties in America on uh, various our products are facing. And the whole thing is not only the duties, but we also need to negotiate on the quality issues, on the standard issues wherein a lot of Indian products are not getting the access in the market, say such as the farm product, dairy products. So it is not that India cannot allow those products to be dumped in the Indian market. But I think the right light is that outside United States of America, India is the country which has got the largest number of manufacturing units or the food production unit including the shrimp and other food products certified by FDA. So I think I'm very sure that it will help in improving the quality. It will help in, uh, you know, transfer of uh, easier transfer of technology. But the thing is, uh, America need to agree to some of our uh, issues related to the quality issues. Then America has got other types of, you talk of the handicraft, you talk of the textile, they talk of the issues related to the child labor. But I think America has to understand that India, the children are helping, even if they are helping only to their families, and I think this has been a contentious issue. And even the small manufacturing, so I think those issues. Now with every product which export to America, we need to give them a certificate that no child labor has been included. In India, these children are helping at least only to their parents. So there has been a very contentious issue on which we have been talking. You know, India, you are aware of that even in the textile, America is a big market for Indian textiles as well. And we export America especially for the made-up. Bed sheets, pillow covers, all sorts of things. And we also export, the, you have been aware of, we have got issues related to those ESO dyes with America. Wherein, you know, you need to use the natural dye. You know, some of these issues are legitimate, but more of these issues are basically to create a non-tariff, a strong trade barrier. I think all these issues need to be dealt with uh, very, very meticulously. You know, the intellectual property is another issue. And America is always negotiating with India that intellectual property laws basically in terms of the ICT, in terms of those are not uh, the strong enough to protect the American interest. As mm-hmm. you are aware that so I think these issues remain unresolved. And therefore, India is also looking for an alternative partner. And I I think this makes sense wherein India and uh, America both will agree to some of those issues because these are in common interest and I'm very sure that, you know, it could not be a full-fledged FTA, but I think a limited trade liberalization between both countries. And another thing that America, you have seen, the biggest problem with America is, you know, America is keen to export their manufactured goods in India. America is keen to, you know, establish their services sector, what we call as a more four in the get general agreement and trade in services. America puts obstructions. You have seen that even for the students going to America, America cancelled the visa for the students, uh, you know, where in the online courses. So what happens is we also need to negotiate with this, that, you know, the natural movement of the people from India to America, America's biggest of the big firms, whether it's the Google or Microsoft, importing the CEOs from India only. But I think they also need to import the lower level, the executives and the professionals and the restrictions which are artificial restrictions on the visa restrictions for movement of people. And I am very sure that the America knows this concern, that the natural movement of the professionals from India to America need to understand our, our issues. It needs to liberalize that. What does this mean in terms of strategic terms? What does this mean? 
terms of the way whole global economy is placed how is this trade deal going to make any shift in that i think it strategically is extremely uh, you know important because over the years with the pre call it as globalization globalization conceptually was integration of various economies and i think a lot has been researched and discussed to make the global system efficient and the making global system efficient the concept of the global value chain came when the product was not made in a particular country but product was made in various countries and china became the largest export in the world with 14% share in the world market uh, but uh, what happens is the america's share declined and america's share in the world export was almost 8.8% so china became an important link in the global uh, supply chain and therefore any problem in china a and b is any autocratic action by china put the serious disruption in the global value chain which we have seen the disruption which happened in types of the pharmaceutical product disruption which happened in terms of all manufacturing put and therefore the whole world including america is looking for alternate source of sourcing the product the whole world is looking for alternate uh, places for manufacturing these products so i think the the supply chain can be fragmented and rather than this global supply chain solely dependent on china need to be fragmented into a few country so if there is a problem whether it's a political problem whether it's a strategic or a diplomatic problem or a problem related to the pandemic need to be uh, distributed across various countries and therefore the any investment trade and the strengthening of the economy in india has a great strategic significance especially with america wherein india has also supported the same thing wherein i think india also had a boycott china campaign you know almost similar to what the america has done so i think what is very important is it's a unprecedented opportunity wherein both united states of america and india as well are in a discord with the china and both countries are under pressure to find out alternative for trade and investment and mutual collaboration and probably this is an unprecedented opportunity for both the countries to understand each other's issue and go ahead with some sort of a trade uh, deal which is going to be in interest of both on one side india need to protect its uh, issues related on market access for food and agriculture products and another thing is the india also need to protect the issues related to the intellectual property on which the america is pressing very hard and with this it is going to be mutually win win situation it will also give opportunity india for technology upgradation for skill and the knowledge upgradation and make india's product globally competitive obviously this will also mean that india will get much more fdi which uh, is a very welcome thing it's india much more richer but yep. given the concerns india has even if there is no reciprocity of things like tariff uh, reductions etc between us and india it does it take till may geopolitical sense to enter the street deal can you elaborate on that america is somehow the greatest you know largest market in the world and when you know about the import duties you know the india's fight with america is not mainly on duties but i think except for the gsp benefit which the america has withdrawn but otherwise our fight more with america is in terms of the quality and the non tariff trade barrier these issues i think india need to deal very cautiously and uh, you know it provides a great opportunity because you know with if there is a mutual recognition of standards the indian quality standard the indian standards for manufacturing wherein basically it is the issue of the market access of the indian products in the american market then i think the indian products can make a mark in that and it is going to be a mutually win win situation eh? india need to be cautious but i think we may go ahead with this deal and it's a mutually beneficial it will also improve the quality of the products being manufactured by the indian industry trade deal like this will obviously pay off both the countries and the us administration we hope will pay heed to india's needs and concerns and i think that this deal will make india's economic position stronger but also address us concerns of chinese domination in asia thank you Very- so much dr professor joshi for uh, joining us today thank you so much you were listening to a discussion india us bilateral trade and economic ties the participants were professor rakesh mohan joshi economic analyst and ruchika chitravanshi journalist you may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com